Hey there, James here. Hope you're having a good day and welcome to another one of my videos. Now in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about using the natural minor scale in your rock soloing. And if you're a rock player who's looking to expand their playing outside the blue scale and minor pentatype type licks, then this video could be really helpful for you. The natural minor scale is one of the most commonly used scales aside from pentatonic scales, which we hear used by rock and metal players like Kirk Hammett, Randy Rhodes, Jakey e. Lee, Slash, and pretty much all of them, to be honest with you. I'm going to show you how to play the scale shape, we're going to talk about how and when to use it, and I'm going to show you some example licks to get you started creating great natural minor scale ideas of your own. So I really hope that you'll find this lesson useful in expanding and growing your rock soloing vocabulary. Now remember, if you enjoy my lessons and you like the way I teach, then check out my website, jamesshipwayguitar.com, where you'll find loads of other videos and freebies and all sorts of exclusive extras which you won't find on YouTube. There you can also find out how to get private coaching with me personally. There's a link to the site in the description below this video. But anyway, let's dive into the lesson now. And everything we're going to be looking at is in the key of D minor using the D natural minor scale. So the first thing we need to do is look at how we play that scale shape. I'm not going to talk through the fingering pattern. I'm just going to play it and leave you to use the tab to learn it. Now the root notes on the E string. We're up here at the 10th fret, which is a D note, giving us D minor natural minor scale. But remember the pattern is completely movable. Anyway, here's the pattern. If you need to, pause the video and use the tab to learn it. One thing that many players ignore is the fact that this scale actually contains a minor pentatonic scale. And this is really powerful because it means that you can latch onto all those favorite pentatonic moves that you already know and just decorate them with some of the notes from the natural minor scale. Now you probably spotted that the natural minor scale was built around this shape one minor pentatonic up at the 10th fret. Try using this minor pentatonic scale pan as a starting point or jumping off point to help you get familiar with and learn to use the natural minor scale. Now we'll be looking in more detail about how and when to use the scale in a second, but first of all, let's check out our first lick. This repeating lick isn't too fast and it's a great way to get your feet wet with some natural minor ideas. So the first part of it is pretty much pentatonic. We're bending the 12th up to 14 on the G string, playing 10 to 13 on the B string, then 10 on the top E string. Now we're going to decorate the pentatonic scale with a few of the natural minor notes. We're going to pull off 13 down to 10 on the top E string, hammer on to 12 and pull back off to 10. Now we're going to do the same idea using the natural minor notes on the B string. Pick 13, pull off down to 10, hammer on to 11 and pull back off to 10. To finish it off we're going to grab that G string bend again, then play 10 on the B string, play 13 on the B and pull off back to 10. So here's the whole lick slow. You can just hear how those natural minor notes just decorate the basic pentatonic sound and give it a different sort of sound and character, yet at the same time you still have the bluesy sort of strength of the pentatonic lick. So there's our first lick. Now you might be wondering how do I know if I can use the natural minor scale? Well as a rule of thumb, over most rock and metal style chord sequences in a minor key, 
it, normally it'll work. So you, it's a pretty safe bet most of the time. Just listen out for those added notes and hear if they really fit. Because from time to time you might find that they don't. But most of the time you're gonna be all right. So my suggestion would be to practice mixing this in with your pentatonic and blues scale ideas. And you'll get an idea of the sound and it'll just start to come out naturally in your playing. Most of the time it's gonna fit in those rock solos. Okay, let's move on and look at lick two now. Now this uses a repeating pentatonic idea, just like before, and then we're gonna add in some natural minor licks to give it a little bit of a cool flavor. <laughs> This lick kind of reminds me of Randy Rhodes' playing, and he plays something similar to this in his Mr. Crowley solo. Now the first part of it is this repeating pentatonic idea. What we're doing here is we're on the top E, we're picking 13 and pulling it off to 10. Then play 13 on the B string, 10 on the top E string, then 13 on the B and pull it off to 10. Now, the picking on this is kind of important. Try picking down, pull off, up, down, up, pull off. That makes that bit easier to get up to speed. In the second bar of the lick, we play that idea one more time. And then it changes. We're gonna play 10 on the top E string, Pick 13, pull off to 10, hammer 11 on the B string and pull off to 10, and then play 12 on the G string. To finish it off, we're gonna play 10 on the B string here, pick 12 on the G and pull off to 10, hammer it back on and pull it off, then play the D string at 12, and finish by playing 10 on the G. So we've done the first bar of the lick. Here's what the second bar sounds like on its own. Three, four. So here's the whole lick played slowly. Three, four. So those first two licks demonstrate how you can take some basic pentatonic ideas and decorate them by adding in the natural minor notes. And this is a really cool way to get used to using the scale because you're not leaving all your pentatonic licks and knowledge behind. You're starting to work them in with the new stuff from the natural minor scale. If you're finding this lesson useful, then please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. I publish a lesson at least once a week. Loads of stuff on blues, rock, metal, scales, modes, techniques, all sorts of stuff. So subscribe now and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And every time I publish a new video, you'll get to find out about it. Okay, let's move on. So we're beginning by sliding into 12 on the D string. Now I would pick that with an up. Then play 10 to 12 on the G string. And this puts us nicely into an alternate picking pattern, which is how I use. Now if you use all, uh, economy picking or some other approach, use that, but I'm gonna alternate pick it. Now we're gonna play 10 on the B string. Then at 12, 10, 9 on the G string. And again, I'll just pick that down, up, down, up. Now we're going to go 11 to 10 on the B, and then 12 to 10 on the G. Then we're going to go onto the B string. We're going to go 13, 11, 10, 12 on the G. And then 11 down to 10 on the B, and 12 to 10 on the G. That's kind of the middle segment of the lick, and it repeats around. So we do 
the little lead in, and then we play that middle bit three times. Two, three. <laughs> We're going to grab this B string bend at the 13th fret and bend it up two frets and hold it up there with some vibrato. lick is really making the most of those darker sounding notes in the natural minor scale and you can hear those clearly in the first bar of the lick. Okay let's have a listen to it. <laughs> the lick's beginning with this D minor triad here. 12 on the D. 10 on the G and 10 on the B. And you might recognize that as a fragment of this D minor chord. So we're gonna slide into the 12th on the D string, pick 10 on the G and pick 10 on the B string. And I would alternate pick that, down, up, down. Then go 11 to 13 on the B. Then come back to 11. Okay, we've got what we've got so far. Now we're going to do a little quick hammer on and pull. We're going to pick the 10th fret on the B string, hammer your second finger onto 11, and then play 12 on the G string. Next we're going to play 10 on the B string, 12 on the G, then we're going to pick 10 and slide it up to 11 on the B and slide it back. Thing. Now moving on, we get a bit more bluesy territory here, and notice how we're going to add the blues note in to the natural minor scale. Now, this is the 13th fret on the G string, and it's going to give our natural minor scale a really cool edgy sound, so watch out for that coming in a moment. Anyway, before that, we grab 13 on the B string, we're going to bend it up two frets, play the top E string at the 10th fret, and then do that again. So we get... Now more natural minor now, we're going to pick 13 and pull it off to 10. Pick 11 and pull it off to 10, this is all on the B string. Now watch here, this 13th fret on the G string. So this is our blues scale note, think of your blues scale. There, we're going to add this note into our natural minor scale. 13 on the G string. 12 on the G, pulling off to 10. 12 on the D string, then grab 12 on the G and bend it up, and then play 10 on the G. So here's the whole lick slow. Three, four. So that gives you some natural minor ideas to get started with. So the first thing to do is learn the scale shape well. Make sure you notice how it's got that minor pentatonic framework in there because like we've seen, that's a great way for getting started with some natural minor licks. And try decorating those minor pentatonic ideas with some of the notes which are added into the natural minor scale. Remember, you can also use the blue note like we saw in lick four. Then find a backing track in the key of D minor and see if you can experiment around with a couple of these ideas. Just start with a few of them at first. 
to see if you can start to build out a little bit of a vocabulary and also just try working some of these ideas into improvisations or solos so they get you get used to the sound of them and you get used to use them in your playing. Remember, if you like my lessons, then check out my website, jamesshipwayguitar.com. You'll find some exclusive content there that you won't find on YouTube. And please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel and looking out for my future videos. In the meantime, good luck with these ideas. I hope it's given you a good introduction to the natural minor scale and that you enjoy using this in your soloing. So have a great day and I'll catch you next time in another one of my lessons. Hey!